Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be covering why is the admin exam so difficult? I talk to a lot of people within the Salesforce ecosystem, people who want to be Salesforce admins, who want to start a career on the Salesforce ecosystem, and other Salesforce professionals obviously. And one thing that often comes up is why is the admin exam so difficult? Why does it take so many tries to get the admin certification? Personally, I got it on my third try and it took a lot <laughs> It took a lot in me to be able to get the certification. I felt really down at times because I could not get the certification on the first two tries. Whereas my husband, who was able to get it on the first try, but he also had prior database experience. So that really helped him. So I wanted to make a whole video dedicated to why I think the Salesforce certification is so difficult and different ways to mitigate the difficulty of the certification and different ways that you can improve on these things. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first reason is going to be that Salesforce is new to you. So Salesforce, um, if you're getting the admin certification, typically you don't have a lot of database experience prior. You aren't familiar with how permissions work. You aren't familiar with how databases work. Um, sometimes you may have some user experience, which can't help, but doesn't necessarily help for the actual admin portion of the exam because it's going to be covering a lot of different things. A couple ways that you can mitigate this is one, you can get the Salesforce Associate certification. I recommend this to be your first one. It, there is some crossover between the admin and the associate. The associate is a lot easier than the admin exam is, and it helps you to understand if Salesforce is actually something that you want to go into. Um, I also think it's really useful because it helps you um, get some momentum that you do have one Salesforce certification, you can get another. So it really, really helps that. Another way to mitigate that Salesforce being new to you is, is to get a job that uses Salesforce that doesn't necessarily have Salesforce in the title. This could be like a customer service job. This could be a sales job. This could be a number of different jobs that use Salesforce that you could go in and use as a user. So then you can understand how it looks on the front end and then you can use your learning that you're doing in your off time to be able to say, oh, that's what this process is and that's what this means. So then when you're on the exam, you can look back to those experiences. Another way to mitigate this is to just learn for fun. So then it makes it a lot easier to remember. When you are learning the admin stuff, I recommend that you start building using admin functionality. Use things that'll help you remember. Like if you're really into Harry Potter, then um, use Harry Potter examples in your test org to be able to remember certain things like certain names of the permission sets, what the permission sets do versus what profiles are and how profiles work. Or if you're super passionate about something else, then use those examples to help you understand more about Salesforce. All right, the number two reason why the admin exam is so difficult is because the admin exam covers a lot and it bounces around a lot. There are, I think like seven different sections. There are about seven different sections on the admin exam. It covers the data model, the security model, which are kind of related, but then it goes to reporting, which is a little bit different. And then it goes to users, which is totally different. And then it goes to automations and other things. And so it just bounces around a lot where one question you might be totally in the weeds of automations and the next one is going to be on like, how do you freeze users or what's a report format? Um, those are gonna be really difficult. There isn't continuity in the questions. You make it lucky and you might have two questions that cover um, the data model or the security model, but oftentimes they're mixed up and they are um, bouncing around a lot. And so it's hard for, I don't know, it's hard for mentally to go from one thing to the other, where this might be a little bit different on further Salesforce certifications. Like if you're taking the sales cloud, it'll just be on sales cloud. And so you'll have some continuity in the questions. Admin is not like that. So let's talk about how to mitigate this bouncing around. You're gonna to need to know a lot. And that's, you're gonna to need to study on specific things. So personally, I really love to use practice exams when I'm preparing for a certification. One, it helps me to get comfortable with the format. It also helps me to um, test where I'm at in my studying. How close am I getting to passing? How much overpassing am I? And it helps to point out where your weak spots are. This is where I wanna focus the mitigation. So you're gonna to want to understand what your weak spots are. So if your weak spots are in report formats, then that's what you need to go study. That's what you need to go understand. If your weak spots are in the data model, then you need to go study the specific pieces of the data model. And this is where YouTube and other free resources can come in handy. So let's say you're on a practice exam and you get um, a really low score on automations. Then you need to go and study the specific pieces of automations. You can search for that in Google, in YouTube, and you'll find a plethora of resources that will help break it down for you. So really make those weak spots or the sections that you scored the lowest in, those your strengths going forward and what you study. 
to help you to be able to pass. This will help you to raise your score and hopefully once you make those weak spots your strengths, then you can spend less time on those questions and then focus more on the questions that are more complex. So the third reason why this is so difficult is that the exam is used to weed out people. Salesforce, which is the governing body of the certification, wants to make sure that their professionals that they certify have a certain baseline knowledge of information. And they want to trim down individuals who um, do not meet their standards. So then they, those certifications can mean something to the hiring managers, to the recruiters, to the people who are going to be hiring you as a Salesforce professional. While that makes the exam more difficult for you, it makes it better in the long run because you are going to show that you do have that proficiency in Salesforce. So how do you mitigate this? One, you're gonna to need to be diligent in studying. You're gonna to need to, to make sure that you are doing your due diligence in understanding specific concepts like report formats, like um, master detail relationships, like record types, all those things you're gonna to need to know and understand in order to pass. Next thing is going to be patient. Uh, you really need to be patient with yourself and with your studying. If you are working and studying consistently and you are studying the things that you don't know and you're working to understand them, then just be patient with yourself. It takes time to understand things and really internalize things, um, especially when it comes to applying these concepts to scenarios. Like I said before, I finally passed on my third try of my admin exam. No one's going to know that, by the way, if you don't say anything, which so if you say you pass on your fifth try, no one would know that unless you told them. So just be patient with yourself. Keep trying. It took me about three months of studying to be able to pass. Um, and I did have prior database experience. So again, just be really patient. And the final thing I kind of touched on this a little bit was to be consistent in studying. That's what's really going to help you pass. Make sure that you are studying, um, you know, every other day or every night or however you want to study. Setting aside time very consistently to be able to get more in-depth to the system. If you are studying willy-nilly and you are having a schedule with studying or you're studying maybe once every month to be able to pass, it's less likely that you're going to be able to pass the admin certification because you are losing information when you aren't studying. And the more time that you go in between or if you are not consistent, you're gonna be losing more information than you're gonna be gaining. The fourth reason why the admin exam is so difficult is because of the structure of the questions. Um, so the structure of the questions is going to be a few different ways. They are going to be a choose one out of four. They are going to be a choose two out of five, or they're going to be a choose three out of five. And personally, I think that this is a really difficult structure because especially in those two out of five or those three out of five, then you won't be given any partial points. It's all or nothing. And so you have to make sure that you are getting all of those correct in order to get the point. So now how do you mitigate this? So now there are a few different ways to mitigate this. One, reread the questions to make sure that you are fully understanding the question. Reread all of the answers so then you will fully understand what the answers are. Or another way is that you can mark these questions to come back to later and you might find something in another question that sparks your memory from when you were studying that helps you answer that question. And finally, you can take notes on the exam. So let me clarify what that means. On the exam, you're gonna have your question over here and you will be reading your answers and then there'll be a bar in the middle, kind of off to the side a little bit. And there'll be a space for you to type notes, which I find that super useful. You won't be able to take the notes beyond the exam. They will erase when you are done with the exam once you hit submit, but they will move from question to question with you. So let's say you are on a question about report types, but then you also have a question later on about report formats. You might find something on the report format question that helps you answer the report type question. So then you can write that down um, and then you can go back to the other question later and hopefully answer that correctly. That's when you are on the exam. Other than that, make sure you read and you study those concepts to be able to help you pass that question. Number five is going to be that questions are really tricky on the exam. They try and trick you so that they can make sure that you are um, going to pass that certification and then that Salesforce certifications can mean something. They will try and trick you. So again, reread the questions, mark those to come back later. And then if you find something, be sure to write it down or maybe just write out notes to get your brain working and maybe that will help you later on. And then finally, the final reason why I think the admin exam is so darn tricky is that sometimes there is more than one right answer. A lot of the times, even now, as I get more experience within Salesforce, I remember some questions where it's like, oh yeah, it could definitely 
be that answer just in a different scenario or if we had this piece of information that this question could lead to this other scenario. So there are two ways that I like to mitigate this on the exam. So the first way is that you're going to want to do this in the most simple way. So you could do something through one piece of automation, you could do this through like you could do this through an out of the box automation, you could do something through um, a customized automation, or you could do something through code. So all three of those answers could be correct. You could use any three of those answers. And in practice, all three of those answers could work. However, Salesforce on the admin exam especially wants you to choose the most simple answer and the least time consuming, the least resource consuming answer of all three of those. So let's say you have the out of the box solution, you have the customized solution, and then you have code. Code is not gonna work because one, it's the admin certification. So you're gonna just wanna do admin stuff. And that's going to be the most complex, that one's gonna be the most difficult to change later on and the most difficult to update or fix in case of issues. Then is going to be the middle of the road one, which is going to be a customized solution. Well, you could do lead assignment rules through a flow. Well, you could send it to the different leads. Um, that's going to be more complex than if you used the lead assignment rules that Salesforce has out of the box. So then you wouldn't have to do all that flow work to be able to do the same thing essentially when you could just use it with that simple, already ready automation tool. So hopefully that made sense. Also, you have to remember the perspective of the certification as a whole. Like I mentioned in just that previous example, this is going to be the admin certification. So if it's telling you that you are going to be doing development, that's probably not going to be the right answer because it's the admin certification. But that is a lot of the reasons why I think the admin exam is so tricky and why a lot of other people find the admin exam so tricky. Um, hopefully that you found this video helpful with the different ways to mitigate this. And I wish you a lot of luck on your admin certification journey. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll catch you guys in the next one.